Am I the asshole for not telling my sister she unknowingly gave our cousin a blowjob? <laughs> What's up y'all, I'm Vontae, I'm back with another video. But there's this subreddit and it's called Am I the Asshole? I saw that this is pretty popular, you know, you know, why not make a video on it? So we're gonna go on the subreddit and we're gonna see if people are the asshole. We're, we're gonna decide, so yeah. Oh yeah, if you're new to my channel and you really enjoy my videos, then you know, like, leave a like or leave a dislike. Some of these are really fucking long. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. Am I the asshole for not telling my sister she unknowingly gave our cousin a blowjob? <laughs> Last year at a party, someone accidentally kicked a hole in a door while playing beer pong or something. Not sure what happened, didn't see it, but there was a... Yo, I, don't, I think we should skip this one. I don't like... Okay, let's keep reading. Not sure what happened. Didn't see it. There was a hole perfect for a glory hole. Someone stuck their dick in it as a joke. And the others followed. Eventually, someone started sucking a guy off. And everyone stuck their dick in there. I saw my cousin... Daniel do it. Jessica, my sister, told me she was the one sucking the guys off. I haven't finished reading it yet, but this is already weird. Like, why is there a glory hole? And why did your sister just decide to go over there and... I was mortified. Yeah, I would have been too. Like, what the hell? I didn't tell her because I knew she'd be disgusted and it's better they don't know. Daniel threw a party at his apartment and the glory hole thing got brought up. My sister was there and she overheard Daniel laughing about getting a blowjob. She and a few others who knew my sister was giving the blowjob draws drop. She ran to the bathroom. She later left the party. Daniel and my sister are pissed at me. They figured I knew and didn't tell them earlier. Was I wrong? Like, girl, you knew better. Why would you even go over there and do that? Like, what? She's a, she's a whore. It was a little, a little slutty of her. That You can't even lie. That, that was a little slutty. Okay, let's, let's go to the next. This one, it's a little long. I just think it, it might be interesting. It says, am I the asshole for screaming at my mom and telling her I hate her and she's the reason I hate myself? I am a female. I am 20. I have a pretty small build. Yes, this is relevant to the story. I am 5'4 and I weigh around 130 pounds. I've always been really skinny for my age. However, the past couple years since hitting my second puberty, I've gained some weight like any woman does. When I was 18, I started eating reg more regularly. I used to have an eating disorder when I was much younger that would make an appearance gain every now and then. Y'all is not gonna be on this video if I can't read. My mom would make remarks about how I should watch what I'm eating because it'll catch up to me. She would also mention how she weighed 110 when she got married. She was 27 and how I weigh more than her at my age now. That's kind of fucked up. I mean, I don't know. Because why are you telling me that? She is a few inches shorter than me. However, I know how this sounds, but she is incredibly body positive. I'm really insecure about everything about myself, and she knows this. She also preaches about self-love and how confidence is extremely important. I started dieting again last year. Sorry, I had to catch a breath. Because I started to see the weight gain and couldn't bear looking myself in the mirror. Damn. Then my mom would get mad at me whenever I tried to count calories for any food, saying this is an unhealthy behavior. I should eat healthy, but also eat whatever I want. Like, do you want me to diet and like, you know, eat more healthy? Or do you want me to be big? Like, okay, it says fast forward to tonight. I have a younger sister. She's 12 and really skinny, but she is almost my height. She went to the mall today and bought clothes she was showing us. I'm usually a size small in the same places she shops at. So when I saw she got a small, I told her I could fit into it too and that we could share it. My mom hurried up and butted into the conversation saying that I wouldn't fit into it. And if I did, it would be super tight on me. I brushed it off even though she knows that I wear a size small. My sister went upstairs and tried on her jeans. Then when she came back down, she was wearing my shirt. I mentioned how that was mine and my mom said, You fit into that? <laughs> Y'all, it sounds like her mom is toxic. Like, bitch, why do you always have some shit to say? Like, girl, shut up. I started getting mad, but I kept my cool. Please don't play with me right now. Just, no, that's it. Please. Let's not, please. <laughs> <laughs> I said, yeah, you literally seen me wear it like a couple weeks ago. Then she started going off about how it would not fit into the shirt. So I got really mad and yelled at her to stop and that she was imitating that I was fat or gaining weight. She got so defensive and we started arguing back and forth until I yelled, I hate you. You asked me why I hate myself so much and why I think I'm ugly when you're the reason.
Then she started swearing on her own lives, my sisters and all of her relatives. That's not what she meant. I'm so tired of this. Was I in the wrong? I don't even know why this girl feels like she has to ask like if she's in the wrong. I know like some people be overweight and their parents be trying to help them out and shit, but you obviously want to bring me down and you know I'm insecure already. Anyways, on to the next. This title looks interesting. It says, am I the asshole for refusing to let my mom meet her grandchild? I'm currently in my third trimester of pregnancy and I have decided to cut off my mom. My mom and I have always had a rocky relationship, but since becoming pregnant, I have really started to reflect on her actions. At nine weeks, I decided to announce the news with her and she was super excited and happy. Both me and my partner have expressed that it's still on the down low until we are 100% safe and have announced first. Within seconds, she had texted my auntie and told her. We brushed it off and said, no one else, please. A week later, she messaged and asked if she could tell all her friends. Although I don't know them, I requested she didn't just in case. She told them all anyway. As the pregnancy continues, she didn't visit at all. We do live around 120 miles from each other. But during this period, she made multiple trips to the area for vacation. She randomly messaged me one day and asked if the baby would have the father's last name. Which, of course, she made a remark that it was strange and we should use her maiden name. I brushed it off and obviously said no. My partner and I have been together for 10 years and she still refers to him as my friend and refuses to treat him like a family member. Oh, she passed away? Oh. Mm. Uh, uh. I just want to say she's not the asshole and like I'm barely into it and I could just tell. She always leaves him out of conversations and doesn't initiate any conversation. As my pregnancy got further along, the side effects of not being able to breathe as good and tiredness lurked. She insisted we all do a family dinner soon and said that it'll be great but maybe travel to see me this time as it's a little uncomfortable to travel that far because the previous catch up was at her house. She told me that it was too expensive for her especially because of the cost of gas and she didn't want to travel this way she also expressed to another family member that she didn't like coming to my house and she said she has a normal suburban house by the way so anyway i said i'm not traveling as i would then have to stay the night and it's just too uncomfortable this far along in my pregnancy she's 32 weeks <laughs> she called her dramatic damn a week later, she was down for another vacay and stayed in an expensive Airbnb. My final straw was when I notified family members that the baby is due soon. Please ensure you're not sick and needles are up to date, especially this flu season. We have a huge family together and everybody was happy to oblige, except her. What is your mom's problem? Like, some of these parents be so weird. She opened the message and never replied. I messaged again and sympathized the inconvenience, but it's for our child's safety. She opened and never replied. Your mom is that toxic? So I refused to reply when a week later she messaged about something unrelated. I have ignored her since. Now she's complained to other family members that she doesn't know what she's done wrong and is distraught that I'm no longer talking to her. Bitch, how are you distraught? You know what the fuck you did. My child is due any day now and I feel horrible that they will not have a relationship, but I feel so drained by her actions around my pregnancy. I don't want to continue such a toxic relationship. Am I the asshole for discontinuing this relationship? <laughs> no, she is not the asshole. Like what? How are you the asshole? I don't even know why you felt the need to ask us that. Like, hold on y'all. Let me go. Okay y'all, so on to the next one. <laughs> I'm sorry y'all. I might have read the comments a little bit. Okay, okay. It says, am I the asshole for getting angry at my fiance when he told me to stop crying? I, 25 female, was browsing on Twitter in bed at night and someone on my feed had retweeted a little cartoon about pets dying and going to heaven. She put the tweet right there. When I saw it, it made me immediately burst into tears and start sob sobbing. This is because my cat and best friend is getting quite old now and I really don't want to lose him from my life, but I know one day I will. I had two dogs and they both died. Nobody asked. But I don't know. I don't know. If I saw a post, I cannot see myself just like bursting into tears. Okay, let's 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 give her a chance. She said also of note, the fact that I have quite severe depression and have done for 
several years, but is generally pretty well managed with medication. Her fiance, he's 25 too, was laying in bed with her with an eye mask on trying to fall asleep. He heard me sobbing, took the mask off, saw what was on my screen and told me to close it and look at something else. <laughs> <laughs> he basically said, bitch, shut your ass up. She said, I just kept sobbing. It's not like closing the image would make it go away. It was the thought. And I said to him, it made me think about our cat. He had a go at me for crying because he wanted to sleep because there was nothing else we could do about that. I got really angry. That response was to have a go at me for being upset rather than to hug me or comfort me or whatsoever. And I told him to go downstairs because I didn't want him in bed with me right now. We get married in a week. Am I the asshole for being pissed at him? She edited it for clarity. He does not have to be up early tomorrow. It's the weekend and he had only been trying to go to sleep for less than five minutes. We had only just gone, gone to bed. I was crying for maybe 30 seconds to a minute. To explain the kicking out of bed thing, I am physically disabled and often bedridden, use a wheelchair, and it makes it much harder for me to go room to room than him. If I want to have space from him, the only thing I could do is ask him to leave and that's understood and he's fine with that. The question I was asking was whether I was the asshole for getting angry or whatsoever. Y'all, I don't know about this one. I don't want to say that she is the asshole, but at the same time, it's like, I don't want to sound biased, but I don't think nobody's the asshole. Like, it just sounds like... I feel like she just took it a little too deep. I mean, I know she has depression and stuff. I don't want to downplay her feelings, but... Yeah, let's skip that one. Am I the asshole for trying to ground my son? My son Hunter is 14 and he's spoiled, I swear. Sometimes I think I failed as a parent. He had a nasty attitude which he got from me and it just makes him tolerable sometimes. His mom babies him and it drives me angry but I signed up for it when I wanted to have kids. We have a maid named Alex, she's so sweet, but she's admitted multiple times that Hunter makes lewd comments at her. His mom thinks he's lying but I've heard it and I get onto him. I think I'm slow. Fifteen minutes later. Yesterday night, Alex calls me and says Hunter called her a thieving f word. I don't know what word that is. Maybe it's. Faggot. And I waited to get off work and I went home. Hunter starts saying his PS4 is missing and he thinks Alex stole it. Damn, you think the maid stole your PS4? That's crazy. And I started telling him Alex doesn't steal, but Hunter said it was here when we left this morning. Alex starts crying saying she didn't steal it and I believed her and I grounded Hunter for calling Alex the F word. My wife was furious and she told Alex she was fired and let Hunter off punishment. Now we aren't talking and Hunter is giving me the silence treatment and Alex is banned from the house. My dad and mom said I'm kind of in a wrong but I think I was justified. Y'all I'm confused with this one because where is the PS4? I'm like what? Like you got mad at your son for calling your maid a name but the PS4 is gone. Like where is the PS4? Who can answer that? I feel like until we know where the PS4 is. No actually the dad is the asshole because you're picking the maid over your fucking son. I mean, yeah, you said he has uh, like little issues and shit and like he has an attitude, but does that give a reason for you to pick the maid over him? Do better, you're the asshole. Am I the asshole for calling my friend out? Hello, so I'm in a big friendship group of 10 girlfriends. However, only two of us are single and both live alone. 10, 10 girlfriends? It's kind of become an unspoken agreement that if one of us has plans and it's feasible, we always ask the other if they want to join as there is nothing worse than seeing everyone with plans with their partner while you're stuck with nothing to do on a weekend. Tonight, my friend mentioned she was going out with her friend who I relatively know well and have been out with before. And I've asked her a few questions about where she was going ETC, but she never made it known that I was welcome. I took an hour or so to think about things things and built up anger on the fact that I always make sure if I know she will be sitting at home alone and I get any fun plans that I include her so I was really upset when she didn't ask me. I called her out and her response was, you're always welcome, you don't need an invite. She didn't make this known at all. I said in future, I'll keep that in mind and not go out of my way to include her in my future plans. I'm a little confused um, because like, so your friend was going out with her other friend 
friend and she told you that they were going out you asked her questions about where they were going and everything but she didn't make it known that you could come if you wanted to come you should have said you wanted to come just because you are so nice you always invite your friends out with you that doesn't mean that they're gonna do the same yeah you're an asshole. asshole because why did you sit there and tell her you're not gonna include her Am I the asshole for showing up with my girlfriend to a brunch, tripping balls? Recently, my girl has made friends with this new chick. The chick is apparently rich and she's a total bitch. Entitled, spoil a brat, ETC. She invited my girlfriend to some brunch type event and my girlfriend told her I'd be there as well. She speaks for me now, apparently. I told her I was pissed that she wrote me into this brunch, especially with the girl who stands for everything I hate. My girlfriend apologized and suggested that we take some LSD D and show up for the shits and giggles. We also decided to. Are you fucking serious? We also decided to forget our phones and our wallets so we could get free food. So we dropped the tabs at 10 a.m. and showed up tripping nicely. The trip went well and she sussed us out. She group texted us and called us pricks. Me and my girlfriend told her to go to hell. You gonna sit here and ask us people on Reddit if you're the asshole. I mean, what does it look like? Like, you're obviously a big-ass asshole. Especially for you to ask. That makes you even more of an asshole. You forgot your wallet and your phone? Both of y'all? Two very boring minutes later. Let's read this one. This one seems interesting. It's about coming out. Am I the asshole for calling my friend disgusting when he came out? This sounds awful, but please listen. I, 24 male, have two close friends who I've had since high school. Let's call them A and J. We all have been open and honest with each other and it seemed like nothing could change that. That was until A moved next to me a few months ago and we started spending a lot of time together. Like almost every day he would come over and we would hang out. Whenever I was stressed, I would vent to him and he listened which pretty much brought me such comfort and I wanted to I wanted to more time with him. I started to feel a certain way about him which was surprising to me because I was sure I'm straight not sure what to do or think about it I tell Jay about the situation and ask him for advice on what I should do he asked me if I was homosexual and I told him that I wasn't sure then he basically told me in the most nonchalant tone ever that I should keep it to myself <laughs> I'm sorry y'all, I would have been a little hurt because what you mean? He told J, but he likes A. Well, he thinks he likes A, okay. He said that A would be very grossed out by me if he knew and he'll just pretend that this conversation didn't happen. Damn. His words seriously hurt me and I felt so embarrassed. Like I just confessed to something so shameful, he must pretend that I didn't say anything. I didn't expect this type of reply from him, so I was taken back. But I did as he told me and I didn't bring it up to A. A few months goes by, he don't say shit. J and A come over for a movie at my place with a few other friends. As the movie was playing, I noticed A and J were acting kind of weird, whispering and laughing the whole time. Because what's funny, good luck. The movie ended and we started chatting, but then A and J got up from the sofa. They said they have something to announce. I could swear J glanced at me for a second before saying, we're going out. The room fell silent for a second, but then everybody started congratulating them and hugging them. I didn't know what to do. I was not sure what I was thinking at the moment, but I just saw red. Huh? What you mean you saw red? I blew up on them and said that they're disgusting and told them to get out of my apartment. I immediately regretted saying that, but it was too late. Everybody looked confused, especially A, but they just left quietly. After that, all of them started calling me a homophobic piece of shit and stopped talking to me, including J. A sent me a text saying that he didn't expect me to be like this and that I was a horrible person. I wanted to tell them why I said that, but I wasn't sure what to say exactly. I feel awful, like I'm totally in the wrong. So J was going behind your back to get with A. So he didn't want you to get with him. Months later, they pop out. Now I'm homophobic and shit. Oh, that's why he said it so nonchalantly. He wanted your ass to just like forget about that shit. And you did. You forgot about it and then you got your nigga too. <laughs> Yeah, you're not the asshole. Why would you be the asshole? Am I the asshole for being upset at my boyfriend who won't touch our baby while in utero? I think she's trying to say like while in her belly. Oh shit, y'all didn't see that. I've done nothing but clean all day starting at 3.30 and finally sat down at 8.30 when he gets home at 9. He will always say, I didn't notice anything. So we're on the couch eating dinner and I say, aren't you going to say hello to your daughter? I'm nearly six months. He said, what are you talking about? I said, your daughter? 
while rubbing my belly. He said, fuck you, you fucking bitch. I'll see you when you come out. Trying to mess around. And hi, thing that's technically not even alive and can't hear me. I'm crying, telling him I was just tired and going to bed. But what the fuck? He genuinely never touches my belly unless I ask him to or talks to her. He does tend to mess around by being so frank, but it kind of just dug me really deep. So am I the asshole for being so fucking upset about this? Or am I sensitive? I think it's really weird that he's just taking it so lightly. Like y'all could, you never know what could happen. Like life is so short. I think you're not the asshole. In the comments it says, if he doesn't want to rub your stomach or interact with it, don't force him to. Many people don't like to do that sort of thing. Clearly he doesn't want to. He sucks for joking around like that when it's not a time to do that. Not everybody feels the same way about a baby bump, even if he's your significant other. But that doesn't give him the right to be the ass about it. Uh, what the f you might want like him to rub on your belly and like talk to the baby and shit but like if he don't want to do that then he not gonna do it and you can't really force him i hope you enjoyed the video if you did go ahead and subscribe i will be coming out with new content real real soon you know i just hope you enjoy deuces you just live for everybody